So the project for today is we got to get that spool of wire run down that hill to get down to our well. It's a little sketchy, probably. So we'll just take it slow and careful. And we're gonna do it while Ola's at work because when it gets a little sketchy, she gets anxious and this will make it a little better. It's not so bad when she just comes home and it's done. Well, we're to here so far. That's the top you can see there. I dug out over here to the side to help bury this up. This is where we started hitting the rocks <clears throat> and it was hard to get the water line very deep. So rather than trying to dig through the rocks next to the line and not and hope not to damage it with the bucket or spinning a rock, you can see here's one of the spots that's exposed, hoping not to hit it or hit, hit it with a rock or something and damage the line. I'm just gonna steal dirt and build it up a couple of feet over top of this section as I bury this other line. And try to get it in where we can. Man, I always had stories about the city line. And the crazy nights you figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out, see what it's all about But the traffic was fast and the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kind of miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I go back where I came from Where everybody knows my name My friends are still the same I guess the slow life is just right So right here where this big rock is We moved that last fall, last winter Because we had some spots that you could see the line I had to hand dig that out of the way to get the line pushed down a little deeper. But it's still only a foot and a half in the ground. So I'll pull this rock and set it out of the way. And then we'll build this up another little bit. <clears throat> Try to get it built up. Keep going with the line. Should be all right. Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind I'm Trying to save your time In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list Girl, you can skip this funny business Cause up there it's complicated and overrated Down here everything is understated That's alright by me Got everything that I need But there is pregnant Paycheck Rat race What's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish In a big pond I think I'll go back where I came from Everybody knows my name All my friends are still the same I guess the slow life Hit me just right Like a bonfire on a cool night As you can see, what I didn't want to have happen, happened. 
I had two more feet to come past this bit of rocks, and then you can see the line is all the way down. I had this much far to go and had to just get it, but we I caught a rock and it pitched it, the bucket sideways and scraped down the side of the pipe and pinched it. So it blew open. I went up to get a repair fitting and the tools. I thought the line would just drain out while I was gone. I can't connect it until it stops because the the pressure's too much and it blows apart at the fitting before I can get it together and connect it. Once that's finished, then I can connect the line, bury it, and finally be done burying the water line part. Then it's smooth sailing, because then all we have to do is dig a shallower trench for the, po for the power line, and I can be a away from the water line enough to not have a problem. And This is the worst part of it. It's so steep. And everything's so dry that as I'm digging, you can see that I'm just, it just wants, to, the whole machine wants to just vibrate and slide down the hill. It keeps trying to fill in behind me and then fill in in, top, in front of where I'm working. And I, it's just so, I'll be glad to be done with it. This is much steeper than the other spot over there. Took a minute to remember this, but my valves here are set at each tank and they tee together, come down, and then it tees to come out to my well pump line. So that one inch valve may have failed, but it took me like 25 minutes to remember that it's downhill of these two valves so I could come up here and turn off these valves and stop the water from draining out. When I checked the water, our line was at about 1,200 gallons on the mark, which is 2,400 because we've got two tanks. And I got up here now, got the valves turned off, and we're down probably to the 800 mark or thereabouts. So. <laughs> so I just came home from work and um came home well i got out as as uh, soon as i could which really i just try to come out on time when we did this last time it was pretty scary because uh his track came off of the excavator and he almost crashed into the trees and stuff so it was it's pretty scary so he has a mini uh, for a week and he rented it out. So he's like, I'm just going to do it today. And I'm like, I don't want to be there. It gave me massive anxiety. So I came home and it looks like he's burying the, the line right now. Um, but I, I can't watch him. So I want to make sure. But at the same time, when I came home, I heard the machine run. I'm like, oh, phew, he's alive. Because it, it was so scary last time. So when I was working up there, I was able to just work my way down, dig a little bit of it, lay it in, bury it, move down. But here it's just too steep. I can't set and dig this way, it just wants to drag me down the hill, even with the blade set. But can't dig pulling up like I've been doing. And if I turn around and dig from the top down carefully then all the dirt comes downhill and I can't I don't have anything up there to bury it so I just went for it piled it to the side as best I could and got the trench all the way down and then I think what I'll have to do is might have to drive all around all the way back up to the top because I don't think I'll be able to crawl up this and do any any good pushing it in. I'm gonna try, but we'll see. I'm gonna start at the post down there and bury that in and clean up that stuff that's down by the road and the pad that's easy to get to. And then with that filled 
maybe I can push this sideways and let it let it come in and work my way up since I have something for it to hold against. Then maybe I can work my way up it with it and hopefully if I can do that then I can work the machine back up into here to kind of clean this off again and clean it all up. See what we can do. So just a quick follow up on our well power line. You can see it right here, the green and black. Um, we got it brought up here to our main power panel and it's all connected. So we just have that breaker, it's a 30 amp breaker that feeds down to the sub panel sub panel is down there at the well so we feed 30 amps 240 volt down that line down the two gauge aluminum down to the sub panel the sub panel has a a 20 amp breaker which is what the pump is actually rated to handle is 20 amps and uh, so it's just there and boy that's so much easier we were going down uh in the summer like this, feeding animals water and feeding the garden water and our consumption, we were having to pump like six to seven hours every three days. And uh, we were still having to do that with the generator. So that run us about five gallons of fuel. So that much time, we'd end up about $35 or so in gasoline just to pump and that was getting every three days so that adds up quick that's why we thought we better start getting it hooked up and since then now we just come over and power up the breaker and don't have to worry about it we just power the breaker and we got plenty of power um, when it's running we con consumes about 3,000 watts and on a bright sunny day we're making about 4,000 watts with just the 12 panels connected so we're still net positive on a sunny day, so we just pump in the middle of the day and still have full batteries, <laughs> so it works out good. Also, when we get the barn built, we're gonna move our battery system and our charge controllers and inverter and everything out of the bathhouse here. Right now, we've got it in here. Once we get the barn built, we'll move it up to there in a clean room and uh, that's the biggest reason why the wires are exposed on the side of the building here. Um, it's, I'm not going to bury them, just to dig them back up when we get the barn going here in a couple of, couple of weeks, get started with that. So once we get the barn standing and all finished in there, we'll move the batteries in and then I'll continue burying the line from the top of the hill up through the driveway and over to the barn. And then we can get it all finished, connected finally. So.